Hi kids, welcome to Snacky Shack. Thank you. I'm your host Tommy Mack, and today we have Fabian. He is the founder and creator of Remy Line Bloodline. He's got so much stuff going on, it's like a spider web. I don't even want to get into it, but one of the things we will be using today is Distinguished Bite Vodka. Now if you look on the front of the bottle, you will see a dog. That is Remy, that is the dog father. He runs this whole thing. Fabian may disagree with that. We'll find out. He's here. Cue that music. Give it the intro. Let's go. Fabian just flew in an airplane, and uh, you can hear the airplane leaving right now. He's right here. Come on in. Have a seat. Have a seat. Come on. Well, not in, but out. Whatever. We're outside now. Um, this is actually your uh, your vodka that we're using in this vodka nade with fresh lemons from the front yard. Great. So I'm pretty excited to have it. Um, thanks again for coming, by the way. Um, let's uh, let's toast to get this thing started, shall we? Very nice. We got to name it. Vodkanade. Vodkanade. It's uh, it's distinguished bite vodkanade, and it's pretty delicious. I've got to, I've got to be honest. Uh, we did get some shots of this earlier, some close-ups. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, maybe cut some of those in. Really smooth, very smooth uh, vodka. Here. You do so much stuff. I don't even want to get, I don't even want to confuse myself and, and, and try to figure out where to begin. Like, okay, you, it, it all started with Remy Line Bloodline. Is that right? Correct. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> he stopped and stared at me. Was that a question? I thought he was talking to talk. <laughs> you did know that uh, Sally sold seashells by the seashore. Twice. <laughs> yes, yes. She made good money. <laughs> but yes, it did start with um, Remy Line Bloodline. Yes. Which actually is uh, a bully breed style of pit bulls. Okay. Um, and Remy is actually the, the patriarch of the bloodline, which is... Um, my dog Remy. Remy. That's the boss. Correct. That's the boss. Correct. So does now does does the dog run the show or do you run the show? Um, actually, I run the show, but the dog gets all the credit, like anything else. Isn't that how it goes? Isn't that just how it goes? Oh well. All right. Uh, now we've got here. We've got the Remy Line Chronicles. This is the magazine that, that you've actually put together. Correct. Um, do you want to? Is there a favorite dog in here or a favorite picture? Do you want to pick favorites? Um, actually, no, because everyone always asks me what's the best Remy Line dog, and everyone says what's the number one Remy Line dog. Um, honestly, like with any dog, it all depends on the, the owner of, and the eye of the beholder. So, um, is it that one? Um, that one is a very nice dog. He's actually residing in Hawaii as we speak right now. Um, he's up there on one of my top ones. Correct. Is it? It's not this one. That's a female. No, she's up there too. Yeah. And, um, she's actually in North Carolina. I'm from South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Are there any dogs from South Carolina? A lot. We actually have dogs all over the world. Um, Is this one from South Carolina? Actually, that one was from here, but it's now in Texas. Darn. Well, it's probably still getting some good barbecue. Very good. I would assume. Um, now, what? What? Encouraged you to get into the breeding, to, to get into the whole the pit bull thing. Have you liked pit bulls your whole life, or? Yes, I've always been a pit bull guy. I've done a couple little breedings, but um, it just got a little bit more serious, and people started coming all over to buy puppies and see the dogs, and then it just became something that became an empire. Um, and we're known all over the world, and from there we branched off. We branched off with a clothing line, which I did bring you. You brought a shirt. shirt for you. you. A sh oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Remy, you know, I'm gonna open this up and have a have a look at this. Okay. I love the the gray coloring. That's very cool. Throw that there for now. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Look at that. And actually, that dog on there is actually a puppy, and he actually resides now in Amsterdam. This puppy lives in Amsterdam. Correct. That's um, he's eight months in that picture. And he also lives on my chest exactly. currently. <laughs> exactly. We have a couple of pups here. I think you saw them when you came in pickles in Russia. Yes. Um, Russia is three, three. Joe's at three, three years and three two and months. Half. Three, three and, and a half. Three and a half. Yeah. Russia. Russia basically played mother to pickles when we when we got pickles from the from the rescue. Nice. Um, so 
Uh, Pickles has, has taught uh, some, some bad habits back to Russia, and Russia's been trying to tame Pickles, so. It's been a fun back and forth and an interesting thing. Joe thought that all of his trees were, were safe now, but Pickles is eating them, <laughs> unfortunately. Now, the, now Pickles, they get, a, they get kind of a bad rep. I, I heard that initially um, they were actually nanny dogs. They were kind of the, the most trusted dogs, and they would take care of, care of kids and things like that. Is that, is that true? Um, actually, yes. Um, the other thing, too, is Pitbull is actually the number one dog of choice, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. um, but like anything, the media, the certain stereotypes of the dog and the brand is so strong right. that before you get to really know a pit bull or get a pit bull, you have to get past that. Hmm. A lot of people don't get past that, so they never really take the chance to get the dog. But I think that's one reason why the dog is the number one dog of choice, because a lot of times things people tell you not to have is what you want. And things that you can have, a lot of people don't want. That's true. Are there laws that, that I should be aware of as a pit bull owner? Um, they have laws. It's not specifically for pit bulls. Mm -hmm. I take that back. It, it is specifically for pit bulls, but they can't brand it as like a pit bull law. Right. So they'll call it like a an aggressive dog law, or they'll call it like a. I think it's vicious or like a vicious like vicious types of dogs. Okay. But whenever they use these words, they throw a picture of a pit bull. But they can't say this law is for pit bulls because you know in America. That'll be another lawsuit that you're stereotyping. A little subliminal, uh, correct? Like, oh yeah, that's that's correct. for pit bulls. Correct. So, um, meanwhile, they're the sweetest dogs correct. you can have. Correct. You just got to raise them right. It's true. It's true. Yeah. You have to raise them right, and like anything else, I always tell people is if you're gonna go to a yard, this is any dogs. If you, the father is crazy in the yard and the mother is crazy in the yard, how do you think the puppies are gonna be? So it's like. As an adult, you gotta make a decision like, okay, if I go to buy a dog and I see the parents are crazy, mm -hmm. chances are your puppy might be a little crazy. That might not be a dog you wanna get. You so, think it's actually in, in the bloodline absolutely, itself? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And that's, the, as a breeder, you could breed certain traits out and you could breed certain traits in. Um, quick, just a quick synopsis. If I breed crazy to crazy and then take that crazy pup to another crazy and take those crazy pups to another crazy, all of a sudden is I'm only producing crazy. Remy? Not crazy. Not crazy. And that's the one thing Not with crazy. the line is that um, it's very loyal, very loving. Sweet dogs. Um, there's no aggression, mm. but yet it's a it's a working dog. Mm. Um, and that's been bred out. Um, actually, the term that they use a lot now is um, American bullies. American bullies. American right. bullies. And um, Remy line is like an American bully, but we keep the pit bull look in the dogs. A lot of a lot of times now you'll see American bullies that kind of look a little bit more bulldogish, mm -hmm. but with the Remy line bloodline, we have this traditional pit bull look, but they're just a little more oomph, you know. Now, is that through breeding? You're breeding Absolutely. in, in uh, the the bulldog Wait, as well. No, or? no, because if you if you, a lot of guys might cheat and bring in a bulldog or so forth, but yeah. a true breeder is going to breed specifically focus on what they want and just breed those traits in. If you want a dog that has more shoulders. You find a puppy with more shoulders, okay. and you take another puppy that has more shoulders that's still the same blood type, and you put those together, and all of a sudden, it's, you're getting puppies with just shoulders. So it's, it's a pit bull. It's, it's just about the genetics of the different exactly. dogs exactly. And, and, and the breeding. Exactly. Well, that, no, that, that's, that's very cool. Um, and, and, and the clothing line, the magazine, are there, are there other things that I've, I mean, it's like a, it's like a big web. Well, yeah, it's actually, the, it's, it's like in huge. any community, uh, for example, like your show is a cooking, it's a cooking show. It's a cooking community. Right, I'm sure there's right. other cooking shows and you guys uh -huh. have a cooking forum and you guys have cooking places you go and you, 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 you talk cooking stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're a breeder of this breed, there's a whole world. Okay. We have our own forum. We have our own shows. We have our own everything. So what I've done is I pretty much have brought to the forefront this world for the regular person to say, hey, man, look what's going on. There's a whole world, a whole society that's, that's there. Through the magazine, through the clothing line, it's a lot so. of lot of lot of fun stuff. Do you have any um, any links? Well, obviously, we'll have the links down below. But offhand, do you have a Twitter? Do you have a, um, a Facebook? We have Facebook, which is Remy Line Bloodline, um, RemyLine.com. Um, the best way I always tell anyone is just Google Remy Line, and that'll take you through the whole universe of Remy Line. It'll take you to the vodka. It'll take you to the magazine. It'll take you to the clothing line. And like anyone that web, that's that's that web surfs knows, once you get in one place. It'll link you to somewhere else, okay. just like your show will link you to somewhere else and so forth. But um, if you just type in RemyLine.com, 
Uh, that's pretty much what you the, the the headquarters of everything. So if someone wants to, for example, get the magazine, mm -hmm. how do they go about doing that? RemyLine.com. Uh, on the website. Yeah, because we have the Remy Line store. Okay. And All so right. Forth. Um, awesome. 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 Well, you know, we actually we used the Distinguished by Vodka, and we're today we're making uh, vodka made chicken. Nice. It's going to be the Distinguished by Vodka made chicken. Put a little chili garlic in there, spice it up a touch, some crushed chilies. Um, but it should be really good. I think the coals are ready. So let's grab the chicken, let's put that on. We're also gonna do uh, some potato salad and some zucchini. So nice. it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get it going.